is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the knights of horror mad slash era game crossover with ghostbusters i am very excited to be jumping back into this it's been quite some time since i've made the first two let's plays so let's get back into it I, I think i remember we were stuck on a part i am playing with the gamecube controller now i had bought the gamecube controller for the nintendo switch so let's see what i can do with this um if you guys are new to both channels, make sure to hit that subscribe button with that bell on because you'll be aware every time we put up a new video. Follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror on Twitter at Knights of Horror, as well as our Mad Slash. Oh, I forgot how to play this whole game. Now. Hold on. There we go. Uh, let me get adjusted to the buttons real quick. Okay, Y is to put out the trap. Uh, can I recover the trap? Let's go. B is to recover trap. Uh, and then on, of course, the Mad Slash channel. Mad Slash Era on Instagram. Check us out. Keep an eye out. Like we're going in. This is where it's at. Uh oh. No sudden movements. Okay. Sure got quiet all of a sudden. Dan Arcroy says no sudden movements, and he first thing he does is a sudden movement. Maybe it's easier than the GameCube controller. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Uh -oh. Get out of here! Oh, no. Keep it going! Watch out, they're oh, yeah, they oh, I'm gonna die again. Ready. Officer, bad start. Oh. Down. Mission failed. Alright, I gotta come up with a new strategy. Maybe go in, run back to the hallway. Probably work out a little bit better, but we'll see. Gotta find out a strategy, though. Stay with me, Hawk. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Oh, I missed them. Uh-oh. No sudden movements. Come on down. Okay. Sure got quiet all of a sudden. They're in the fence! They're in the fence! First couple always so easy. Stand my guard right now. Get behind something! Whoa! Don't let them circle behind you! Yeah, I'm covered in my fellow minion moves! Tape up is working overtime, generating these little creeps. Oh, shit. Oh! Don't let me die. Can I get him? We Typical finally got him. Alright. Let's interact. Good shooting! Night and shining 
Proton pack time! Go, 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 go! Come on, Dan. There we go. Thank me. Come in, please. There's pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. Stay up. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting. And they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Showtime. No! Somebody help me! Easy now, miss. Just relax. No sudden movements. You're perfectly safe now. Sudden movements! Sudden movements! Come on, stay puff. Oh, one more minion over here. Got some stuff flying outside, too. This is awesome. Find some cover! Try, trust me. Wow, check it out, kid. What a view, huh? Manhattan, I love it. It's a beautiful view. But we got people to save. And marshmallow to be covered over. <laughs> You're just lucky to have met someone as special as me. Okay? I think now is the time to be flirting. It's okay, Dr. Van Rijen. You're fine. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things anyway? Well... What, was, that a was that a manifestation of ghosts? Or? Uh... Yeah, probably. It just made me. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here, or the scenic route to its lady's choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Ooh. Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that. In the way. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. Tubby Soft Squeeze. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. <laughs> right, let's go. We're not getting out of here that way. Well, it was a good plan for a second. Okay, let's think. What did people do before stairs? Was it ladders or just to the top? We go up then. To the roof. This will be fun. Gonna fight Stay Puff. Ah! Well, help Stay Puff spotted us. Move, move. Stay Puff is strong for being a fucking marshmallow. Well, that's Come on, let's go. Stay back. There's more. Get 
get him in, get him in. There you go. Wow. Well, that kisses my boo boo a little bit. sight of a giant fucking Stay Puft Marshmallow guy. Like, come on. I think we just found him. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30 story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. Good news. Good news. We've got the Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the state puff there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break <laughs> No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there. Would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? We can sure as hell try. All right there, Sunshine. Are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes! The Big Daddy manifestation himself! A raging blob of densely packed marshmallow! Oh boy! Melt him, Chief! Give him full screen! He's right, Rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. 
more of those minis. How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow? Mm -hmm. Probably 60. Should do the trick. Is that his upset look? What do you think? Ghostbusters 2, Gozer the Gozerian 0, looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. Ray, Peter, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture State Puff. Where is he? Where is he? He's that white puddle you're driving through? Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. Alright, State Puff is done. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. Right. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa. Dr. Alyssa Selwyn. And I am Dr. Peter Vecman. And that's C. Egon. It's uh, Ray, Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh huh. Rookie. The Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai? Mexican? Japanese. <laughs> Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor, and a fiery one, too. Charm. So charming. So charming. <laughs> yeah, Venkman, be the ladies' man. All right, let's interview her. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night... Just an oversight, right? I don't, I don't have anything to do with that. That gentleman was all me. And I can assure you it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. <laughs> Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside to your nose. <laughs> okay, everybody put them hey. back in their skibbies. <laughs> 
Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I know that voice. I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed a ton of time? <laughs> Listen, Dick. here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wars. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Vanko. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fife to. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, so, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on Oh god. That's a big issue. It's gonna get in the way of stuff. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Let's bust this. Well, let's get in. See what we gotta do next. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. Stay with Elsa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. It's true. That beautiful Ecto one. One of my favorite movie hey cars right there. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Grey Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Oh, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Grey Lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Cat and says that I'm required to tell yeah. him where you are Alrighty. and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. I got you. What's going on here? The Goyser. Why do we know those lions are for some reason going to come to life? Wouldn't put it past Ghostbusters. Big crowd. Bankman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. 
But didn't there used to be two yep. lines out here? I knew it. Check for valances. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, Cadet, you need to see this. Stand back. Look out. There they go. Whoa, double full torso animators. Come on, after them. You heard Stance. Let's move. I was already right ahead of you guys. I was ready to go in. There they are. Give them a freaking laser. Console. Couple of class five animators. I've never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the pack. I love the sound it makes when it goes on. All right. Hey, he said take it easy. That's not easy. Miss. Damn. Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, Cadet, if you use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal enemies. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Switch equipment, Cadet. Cool. A blue gray. A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. It leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas. You think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. See if you can pick up a signal. Downstairs. All right. Got some activity in here, eh? Look, it's the cadet! Look, it's the cadet! Strong, Strong emanations, no direct source though. We followed our guy in here and get it to Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Uh oh! Here comes something big! That is a fine example of a level 6 bi dimensional attraction. Oh, damn. Slow it down! Alright. So this 
thing's going to be chasing after me. And i got to get out of the way. So let's do that first. Hey, Bloodhound, we're up here, to your right! Strong emanations, no direct source tower. He followed our guy in here, to get us to slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Uh -oh. Here comes something big! Now that is a fine example of a level 6 bidimensional attack. Egon, did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? energy must it take to collect and animate an entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. The library ghost. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is! Meet us at the stairway door. Library she goes. She went down that way. Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. We got the library ghost. She shot us again. That witch. Oh, all right. We got some books flying out now. More books. It's like still the beginning of the game, and we got a lot of the iconic Take ghosts. Ease in out and try to be quiet. Oh wow, a full stabilizing levitation! I'd say we're close to something. Ray, you got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the Grey Lady. She's the first ghost we ever yeah, hunted. It is. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Awesome. Let's go. Cut her off. These readings are off the charts. Sure, now I'll have to make the charts. Wow. Now listen. This place is reading like a psychic pressure plate. Find her thrower. Here, everybody stick quick. close together. Okay, so much for stick together. New plan is fan out. Flexible approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming around in here. Two that we know about. Yeah. 
Look at the periodical archives, looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings. All about some nut named Edmund Hoover, a.k.a. Shushin' us. This dude is a history show. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Dupree, the head librarian of his lady. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. Taking me through a maze right now. Got him in the trap. That took some doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way. We're on our way. He 
keep an eye on the twitchy ones. They'll really crease you if you aren't careful. You all right? Watch it! Find the paper cuts! Roast them! Library is messed up, man. Eyes open, team. She's upping the ante. Thanks for the warning, Ray. But I have no idea what you're talking about. You may want to just take our word for it. I missed that, Ray. Please repeat. Enough with the shushing! Well, at least we're getting closer. Could not hear a word of that, Ray. Ray. Getting closer is what he said, Egon. Going in here. Or we're not going in here. Done, cadet. Come on, kid. We need to get out of here. Yeah, waiting on you, buddy. All right. Maybe we're gonna fight the ghost lady right now. Uh, Winston, are you? Where the heck are you? In the periodical section. In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. What? Tell us more about this. Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care, specifically a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great, great. Yeah, and when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. Evidently, he murdered her for it. Uh oh. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess. Let me guess. He collected their bodies, just like he collected books. Bingo. Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the clip. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azaglor, some sort of god, to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. 
All right, ladies and gents. That is going to do it for this Let's Play of Ghostbusters. Tune in next time. We're going to fight the library ghost. See you guys soon.